for about 33% votes. But now, between 2004 and the 2020 general elections, it has come back to 38 going on to 39% to show that the MPP is growing their base in this constituency. But beyond having a conversation only on political lines, we want to have a conversation about leadership and what the leaders of this constituency have been able to do to address the basic needs of the people, socioeconomic problems and questions, and also the general welfare of the people in this constituency. And what I like to do is to first begin the conversation with the people in the constituency, and then we'll give the leaders the opportunity to answer the questions which they ask them, and also to address certain issues which may have not otherwise been asked by the people. So we have two microphones um, here, one on my left and then one on my right. I'm going to ask you if you have anything to say to your leaders. <laughs> I beg your pardon. If you have anything to say to your leaders, the microphones are right there. If you want to speak, I encourage you to form a line so that we can speak one after the other. What I need of you this morning is to ask questions, is to bring forth some of the issues that you might have that your leaders may otherwise not be aware of, and ask them how they are going to solve these issues should they be given the mandate to lead. So I'm going to take um, five comments from each side, then I'll take three, then I'll take two, then I'll take one. So after the five comments, your leaders will speak, then after the three, your leaders will speak, and so on. So I begin with you, sir. Good morning, everybody. What, what is your name? Good morning. My, my name is Kamal Dean. Kamal Dean. Yes. All right. I, uh, good morning to everybody. Uh, my warmly greetings goes to the PC, uh, MP of this Tamale Central uh, constituency. Um, he has done a lot. He has done something that nobody can quantify. So I send my warmly greetings to him. He's uh, the Honorable um, MC, also I send my greetings to him. And um, this context is, very, is going to be very, a very is good context. Is there any context. issue you'd like to bring up? You, or, is there any issue you'd like to bring up or any question you'd like your leaders yeah, to address? Yeah, there are issues. All right. All right. Uh, the only issue is to the MC. You can see when we came to this, when we come to this mar the market this morning, at least the market was not good. Okay. I'm entreating the MCE that at least the Zoom Lion is there. He should at least put the Zoom Lion to uh, work so that they always come and clean this market. You and the, 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 this is the rose of Tamale. If right. you see the way it is filled, I'm entreating the So sanitation MCE. is an issue. Yes. All right. Thank sanitation. you. Sanitation. I'm and, entreating and so that all of us can have the opportunity to talk. Let's spend one minute each, okay? okay. So go okay. straight to the point. I think I'm done. Thank you, sir. You can also speak your local language if you want. Right. Okay, all right. Please go ahead. Go ahead. My name is Adam Mashut. I'll be a popular known in NDC Communication Bureau as General Mosquito 2. Uh, my first thanks go to God Almighty Allah for the life Speaking and protection the he has given to us. My second uh, greetings goes to my Honorable Sule Salifu. And then my main man, my father, my mentor, my brother, uh, in both religion and then uh, political fraternity. I say thanks so much uh, to the security forces, again, once again, for trying to uh, help and um, uh, give it a very sanitary problem. Coming back to the sanitation issue, if you look at it, it is not only sanitation. Currently, we are having water crisis. That's number one. Almost all the social amenities one can think about. Sanitation, that it is when you are healthy that you can reduce poverty. When you live in a clean environment, you can live in a very clean heart. You would you be able to reduce poverty because when you are not sick, you don't go for medication. Okay. And when you are going for medication, it means that you will find it difficult to be able to, what, to, to bring productivity and then to be able to pay even your bills that of, uh, and that of your, your children's school fees. Now, when you come to Honorable uh, Mutala, we don't even know what to say. One of them has done a lot. When it comes to uh, sanitation, he's not there because he's not a DC and then he's not a mayor. That is why. So when you look at it, he has been able to give us almost about 62 boroughs in our communities. There is no community you will pass and you will not be able to get it from there. I said that he has given us clinics, he has given us, he has given us autotype, he has given us roads inside. 
and he's sponsoring most of our students. So far, he has been able to sponsor about three, uh, 32 medical students who are abroad schooling. But then now, now and then the number has been increased to 42. All right. And then uh, looking at uh, the JSS right. students who That's have come for the past four years, That's he has been uh, just paying for their class fees and he's been giving them masses. Right. He has been giving them transportation okay. throughout their time. exam to this. So we That's say thank time. you. May the thank good you. Lord protect him thank and you. protect our party right. come 2024 for us to come okay. to victory. All right, we'll take three more comments. You have one minute each, okay? One minute. Okay. Go ahead. Um, good morning. Good morning, sir. My name is Abdallah, Tamale Central Teachers Forum Coordinator. Teachers Forum Coordinator. Teachers Forum Coordinator. Okay. I'm Abdallah. Is there an issue with the teachers yes. that you'd um, like to be addressed? I've just highlighted three points. All right. This useless government have introduced a new can you Can you please desist from using words like that? Okay. All right, go ahead. This government... Okay. I, I, Thank I beg you. your pardon. I beg your pardon. I, rem I remove the word. Right. This government yeah. have introduced a new curriculum. There are no textbooks in the schools for us to teach the children. There are Number no textbooks two. on the yes, curriculum. Yes, there are no textbooks for us to teach the students. As in the textbooks have not been provided to you or the they don't exist? Have been, they have not been provided. They have not been provided. Yes. Okay. Number two, this government promised students, nurses and teachers, teacher, teacher trainees allowances, which they haven't been given. For almost nine months now, my wife is a nurse. She's currently at the Quimby, uh, Nurses Training College. She haven't received any student allowance as a, train, as a nurse trainee. Number three, a failed, a failed senior high school policy. My brothers and sisters, the market women here, we can all bear witness that our junior brothers that are going to three senior high schools, when they come to buy a bowl of gari or salt or chalk box, the prices have been inflated to an extent that there are not even food at the senior secondary schools for the students to use. Honorable Ibrahim Mutala, Honorable Ibrahim Mutala have introduced free extra classes for both MPP and NDC students in Tamale Central, which everybody is enjoying. I beg my pardon. Um, All right. I'm going to leave it here Thank and I'll you. come back next time. All Thank right. you very much. Now, I would like to encourage us to focus on issues in this constituency, not national issues, because it is the issues in this constituency that your leaders here can speak to. So let's try to limit our conversations to this constituency, okay. Tamale Central. Yes, uh, sir. Good What's morning. your name? Yes, sir. My name is Mohamed Kabiru from yes. Tamale Central. I'm okay. one of your youth group leaders. All right. I want to say a high five to my MP because in uh, he's MP already. For him, there, there is no, I don't want to say anything about him again because it's obvious. His work, his good work is obvious. But for me, I have three questions for my honorable mayor. As a mayor, what now? Please, I want you to pay attention to this question. As a mayor, what can he boast of? What can he boast of as a mayor to Tamil Central? <laughs> Second question most of the street lights in Tamil, Tamale, not Tamil Central alone. It's not, it's, not, it's not working. Your street lights. Street lights. They are not working. Okay. So what is he doing about it? All right. I think I'll limit it here. All right. Honorable, high five. So one, <laughs> we'll take one more comment and then we'll come here. One okay. more, yes. Go ahead. My name is Abdul Wakil, okay. a responsible citizen of Tamale Central. And I want to, um, first of all, ask the mayor about the poor sanitation and Hawkers on the streets. Tamale, if you are a rider or a driver, you can't move. If your team after here, you pass through this road, That's you will see that from. you can yes. So you see the road. As a mayor, we saw Honorable Superior, what he was able to do. We are asking him about his call card. And we are asking him that what is his motivation? What motivates him? To contest such a caliber of Honorable Mutala, who is the Jumawura? Thank you. That's my question. All right. So we're doing our best to note down all the questions that you have asked. And then we will, we will ask um, your leaders when it's time for them to speak. So we'll take five questions, issues or comments from you. I encourage you to limit your issues to issues in this constituency and not national issues because your leaders here cannot speak to those issues at the moment. All right? So, so, so please go ahead. Five from here. Go ahead. Okay. 
My name is Abdul Hakim Yahya, the Communications Director for Tamale Central, MPP. Um, Mayor of Tamale, who is Honorable Sule Salfo, since his assumption as the mayor of this particular place, he has done a lot. He has done a lot. I least did not expect that my colleagues at the other side would mention water as an issue. Because these are people, these are people, these are people who claim that Honorable Mutala have solved the water crisis in Tamale. But fast forward, MPP as a government, MPP as a government, MPP as a government, before we came into power in 2000, before we came into power in 2000, we are having a water problem in Tamale Central. But when MPP assumed office, through the magnanimous of uh, 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 the late Alaji Mustafa Ali Idris, the water crisis, they brought by water and they solved the water crisis in Tamale. So you no longer they have solved a water, the water crisis issue. in Tamale. So NDC, when they came, NDC, when they came in their eight years from 2009 up to 2016, if they, if they have added something to what the late Mustafa Ali Idris had done, I think we would not have been where we are. All right. But looking at what Honorable Sule Salfo has been able to do, he has been able to construct over 32 boreholes in several locations in Tamil Central here. All right. My colleagues, my colleagues at the other side, they have mentioned that Honorable Mutala have constructed a number of boreholes. We want them to show us the evidence. All right. They, but they should tell us where those boreholes are. All but right. what I can tell is that Honorable Sule Salfo has been able to consult 32 boreholes. Secondly, thank you. Secondly, no, that's your time. Regards, that's your time. That's your time. Let somebody else. Okay. Go ahead. Dr. Wabaga. Dr. Wabaga. Dr. Wabaga. Good, good morning once again. Good morning. My name is Mohamed Kabir a former TESCON president, UDS Tamale Campus, and a campaign team member and a police station executive. Before, before I set the ball rolling, there is an adage in the saying that when an elder leaves you with a legacy of dignified language, you don't leave it and speak childish language. Yeah. MPP is the only political party that is consistent in their, in their consistency. Okay, tell me exactly what the issue you would like to speak and, on is. And, and I always say it. What, 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 what Honorable Sule Selfu has done in the history of Tamale Mayo, no one has ever done it. And I'm not, I, there is no iota of doubt in that. And I'm giving you the assurance, within next month, you see the developmental changes in Tamale. <laughs> Madam, this evening, I want you to take a car or, or a motorbike, go across all the Tamale environs, and you come and thank me. Or thank you for that. There is lighting always. And I always say it. Look, a country, a country without Dr. Alhaji Mahmoud Baumia is like a body without a soul. If, 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 if not because, if not because of Dr. Baumia, if not because of Dr. Baumia, this country would have been subjected into a state of melancholy. Shout. All right. And I'm throwing a challenge. And I'm throwing a challenge to Honorable Mutala. He should mention me one social intervention that NDC has ever been implemented in the history of Ghana. All right. I'm throwing you a challenge. I'm throwing you a challenge. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. you. All right, next person, please. Yes, sir, go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Haruna Wunnam. First of all, I want to comment TV3. What they are doing today, especially Tamale Central. 
But for MPP and NDC, you can't compare NDC to MPP. Never. I want to use here, Ababu here, to demonstrate, to show example. Here, these permanent blocks here, we are showing here, we are seeing here, done by MPP government. People are talking about the boreholes. Yes, after this building, just 10 meters, you will see borehole there, done by Honorable Sule Sansu. Just recently, about 15, about 15 Islamic schools in Tamil here, just last two weeks. Honorable Sule Salvu, this will be chairs, dual decks. I can mention over five schools here. Lamakara Markazia. All right, please wrap up. Please wrap up. Police Barracks, JSS, Nur Islam, Islamic School. You can count. I want to put question to NDC. They should mention one project they can use to match Tamale interchange. It has never happened. This is the first interchange in Northern Region done by MPP government. All right, all right. Over 1,900 right. drug deaths. All right, all right, sir, excuse me. me. That's your time. Everywhere. Okay, it's okay. And excuse there is me. assorted. Excuse me. Big assorted in It's okay, Zodani let somebody else. Namakara. Let somebody else, okay, it's okay. That's your time. Let some, if you don't let somebody else speak, that's your time on this side. Let someone else speak, all right. Let the woman talk. Yes, madam. Let the woman talk. Yes. Yes, madam. Go ahead. Go ahead. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala. My name is Saibu Mutiatu Dendani. Tamali Central DPT Women's Organizer. Tamali Central DPT Women's Organizer. I am yes, very happy. They have just mentioned that we should talk about Tamale Central alone, or we should concentrate about what the party has done for Tamale Central. And we should talk about Tamale Mayor as far as the same time the candidate of Tamale Central, who is Honorable Sule Salfu, who is coming to take over, inshallah, 7th December. From Honorable Mutala, he has already given up. Because looking at, I am a woman organizer. So I look at, we are concentrated, we want to, I want to Please talk about the, the women. Microphone. What the Tamale Central PC have done so far for the women in their constituency. Looking at it, for, for now, when you watch, uh, when you come to the constituency, Please speak into the about microphone. 250 women are under training to be able to equip them, to be able to receive and uh, support to do their business in the region, in their constituency. And when you go to, and when you go to, if you're a woman, if your child is sick, you have to take care of him or her at the hospitals. So you go to Tamale West Hospital, you will see the, what the candidates have done, honorable students have done. When you are sick, and when you go to Tamale, when you go to Tamale Hospital, the old hospital, you, when you go there, you will see another ball holder. And I want to ask, and I want to ask, since 2000 and how much that we formed Tamale Central, NDC is the, is the party that has been winning the seat. They should come out and count to us the number of things that they have done for the president. That is what we want from them. Thank you. Thank you. And the final, final person, one last person, and then we'll speak to our leaders. One last person, one last person.
Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, hello. Good morning. Good morning, sir. I'm uh, Suleiman Idris, alias Show Put. Uh, let me first of all use this uh, single opportunity to thank TV3 for offering us uh, this opportunity to sort of come and listen to what our parliamentary candidates have in store for us. Actually, if it hadn't been for an opportunity like this, I don't know what most of us would have been doing. So I want to commend you for that. You see, there's no gain saying the fact that development is never in abeyance. There must always be something ongoing. But in a situation where development is up, up to an expected level, that is where you don't need to be credited. You see, ever since this government assumed the reins of governance, I think this government has done exceedingly well. You see, it has been able to initiate groundbreaking projects. Any groundbreaking project that has happened in this country has been initiated by this government. Talk about, you know, almighty free SHS. Talk about the asphalted roads around Tamale. You see, I just want to ask Honorable Mutala a very simple question. You should be honest enough to let us know. Who is responsible for the construction of, you know, a roads in Changle? And also, the astroturf in Changle. Who is responsible for it? All because... Right. <laughs> All right. All right. Because... because okay. Because I know Common Fund is woefully inadequate to do all these projects. So I just want Honorable Mutala to set aside politics and tell us exactly who is responsible for those things. All right, you thank see, you so much. Because we know all these thank projects you, to be you. GOG projects. Thank you. Nothing at thank all. You. I can boast, a horrible student self can right. boast of so many, That's uh, you know. Time. What? All right, so I'm going to come back to your microphones in a minute, but your microphone is off. So I'm going to come back, I'm going to come back to you guys in a minute, but now I think it's, it's time to ask our leaders to respond to some of the questions that have been asked. So just a few of the points that were made. Um, one of the gentlemen who spoke spoke about boreholes, which you apparently constructed, but it has been counted by another person who spoke, saying that you didn't in fact construct the boreholes. Beyond that, let's speak to the specific issues. So they've asked questions about sanitation, street lights, hawkers on the streets, water, and then the boreholes. Can you speak to these issues? Well, uh, first and foremost, the gentleman who asked the question whether I have evidence of the boreholes I have done. He was not being truthful. He's from Borland Fong electoral area. In his electoral area, there's a borehole. In his electoral area. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, he knows Hakim. He knows you well. As a matter of fact, <laughs> you see, you see, He was, he was being absolutely, he was, he was being absolutely disingenuous. Boland Fong Electoral Area, Hakim is from that place. There is a borehole there. I have done, I have done, and let me give you the evidence. Ababu here, Ababu, we are in Ababu. I have two boreholes. It is just less than 100 meters here. This area here, we have two mechanized boreholes. I have done 62 boreholes from my common fund. He has been approving it, he. The assembly awarded the contract, and every single dime to be paid to the contractor, it ought to be approved by the MC. And he knows. So I am surprised that he's saying that there isn't any evidence. I just want to tell him what the boreholes are even here. He doesn't need to walk far. Just get out of this and cross the road. At Lagi Samoro School, you find a borehole there. Just cross here, Bamo Palace, you find a borehole there. So on the issue of the boreholes, right. I'm saying that, hello, right. hello, and it is very clear, hold on. We have 18 wards, 18 wards in Tamale Central. I did five and commissioned them before we had the elections. And after that, I did one in every electoral area. So if you take 18, but you have two areas that are bigger, Changle and Dohanayile. So I gave them two, two. So that would have been 20 plus 5, giving you 25. Right. I came back to add another 20, making them 45. And recently, I have done another 10. Go to police barracks. I have even provided them with a borehole. Go to community health nursing training clinic. 
three boreholes. Go to NTC. I provided them with a borehole. And I have done additional four. So if you take five plus 20, 25, another 20 making it 45, another 10 making it 55, and another 60 boreholes. Yes, yeah, 62 boreholes. 62. But those boreholes, those boreholes are exclusive of the boreholes I have gotten from Islamic NGOs. If you add the boreholes I have gotten from the Islamic NGOs, there are a total of 82 boreholes. And if you check, all the boreholes that are done by Islamic NGOs, you find the signboard and everything of the Islamic NGO embossed on the boreholes. Any borehole you find in your area, and there isn't any Islamic or any NGO in the, that is the borehole I have provided for my common fund. So I find it extremely strange that this gentleman right. will look even to himself, honorable to himself. He knows that I have done boreholes. He knows. All right. And as a matter of fact, the electoral area he's voting. The electoral area honorable to himself is voting. There are two boreholes in that electoral area. All right. So I find it extremely But on the issue of the sanitation, the question goes to my brother. He has All to right. answer them. So as, as mayor, um, there, there are lots of questions and, and, that have been posed to you. There was a social intervention question. OK. No, the, the gentleman asked, Hakim, he said that I should provide evidence of social intervention program or project that the NDC has done. I'm not, talking, I'm not going to talk about NDC. I'm talk, going to talk about NDC member of parliament. Maybe, perhaps, he needs to have an appreciation what constitutes a social intervention program. Boreholes are social intervention programs. Health scholarship to poor but needy medical science students is a social intervention program. Free extra classes is a social intervention program. Right. I urge you to just look for a dictionary and read what social intervention program is. All so right. I'm not even going to NDC. I'm going to talk about myself. All but right. I'll come on the issue of the rules because someone asked a specific question. Okay. I don't know whether I need to address them now or you, he will answer may, them. You may quickly now, quickly. now the gentleman asks whether the Astro staff and the roads were provided by government of Ghana. I have never run away from that. The very day we were commissioning or cutting sword for the Astro staff, I made it very clear that it was provided by Ghana Gas, I made it very, very, very clear. On the issue of the roads, I indicated that it was financed by government of Ghana. But mind you, government of Ghana's projects are lying there. It ought to take the effort of someone to go and plug it. In any case, if you are in opposition, doesn't mean that you can access projects. And let me give you an example. When NDC was in power, there were MPP MPs who had projects. So for me, it is simplistic to argue that NDC people cannot access that. The free classes I have done, have I said only NDC people should attend it? The boreholes I have provided, I have said that only NDC people should access it. All the right. medical science students, which we are boast of 32 medical science students now, there are over 15 MPP, MPP children in it. Have I discriminated? So I think that it is so simplistic and petty to assume that when a government is in power, you can have a member of parliament. Okay. A member of the arm of government to access project. I have okay. never made secret I'm, I'm, out of I'm it. I'm going to come to Honorable um, Sile Salifu now. Now, a lot of questions have been posed to you. I'd like you to begin. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. We need we need to keep quiet so we can hear our leaders speak. Okay. We need to keep quiet so we can hear our leaders speak. So I took some notes for you. So, one question which was asked directly to you is, what can our mayor boast of? And then, there were many questions about street lights, sanitation, hawkers, water, and boreholes. So, we'll take them one by one. What are some of the interventions Hello. you have introduced? Hello. Good morning to everyone. And let me commend TV3 for bringing this program to Tamale and to be specific, Tamale Central. I equally want to thank my good friend, the MP for Tamale Central, Honorable Mutala, for the uh, participation in today's program. Let me thank the chiefs and people of Tamale for supporting me as a Metro Chief Executive to manage Tamale all this while. What I want to say is that without peace, without peace, you can produce millions of boreholes. Nobody will be there to use it. Without peace, if there's no peace in the community, 
100 boreholes or 1,000 boreholes, people will not be there to use it. I can boast and say on authority that Tamale has been very peaceful under my administration. When I came, when I came to Tamale to ensure that this assembly, peace exists. as a metropolitan chief executive, I will give you one example. Okay. Yongdak Yamili, Yongdak Yamili is in the Tamale South constituency. There was regular conflict in that area. I team up with the chief here and the Yana, and today we have solved the problem. Today, the assembly does not spend so much money in resolving conflict. So that's number one. Number two, number two, my prime minister is aware that he got some funding to establish a clinic. To establish a clinic, he needed a building. I provided him the building. I provided him the building to do that. Now, I want to say that I want to say that in this market, in this market, I have constructed street lights all over the market. So in this the night, yes, yes. In. So in the night, the place is very nice. Now, if the, you go to town, the street lights, I work on the street lights, and it is very clear in town, in the night. I want to say that I've constructed over 4,000 dwell decks, 4,000 dwell decks for our schools. 4,000? 4, 4,000. When I came, one of the things I realized was that the Arabic schools do not get the decks. So I gave 2,000 to the Islamic schools. I want to say that in, 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 in a week's time, you will see contractors on the road constructing four new traffic lights. It has never happened in the history of this metropolis. No MC has ever constructed even two street lights, a traffic light. I'm constructing four at the same time, and I've awarded to a contractor, and the contractor will go to site next week. So I want to say that I've done a lot. Tamale, Tamale is a very difficult place to run, but I've been able to work my way out with the chiefs, the imams, and the peace. There's harmony between myself, the right. chiefs, and the religious leaders, okay. my political party, and the other stakeholders. Okay. Now, um, I'm, I'm just curious. Now, you've listed a lot of things you've done, from the lights in the streets, the street lights in the market, over 4,000 dwell deaths, you said, yes, 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 yes. for school children and so on. Yes. How are you financing these projects? Uh, through the Soko projects. We got the some well bank project. Yeah, we got some well bank facility, and okay. uh, that's what I'm using. Apart from that, I, 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 I created a sister relationship with Germany, Musta. In Germany. In Germany, okay. I went to the place, and the Catholics there donated a lot of furniture for me. You also mentioned that Tamale is a difficult constituency to yes. run. What makes it difficult? You see, it's difficult to change people here. It's very, very difficult to change people here, unless I route it through the chiefs and the imams. So that's why that makes it you know, very difficult. And again, you can see that we have never won the Tamil Central seat. Yes. It has been the seat of the NDC. Yes. It is this year that I want to relieve my brother from the suffering and rule the Tamil Metro uh, Central seat as the next MPP parliamentarian. <laughs> Is that, is that the desk you're talking about on the screen? Can you see the screen? Can you see the screen? Are those the desks you're referring to? Okay. All right. Now, they asked you some questions as mayor. There's serious sanitation issues in the constituency, according to the people who spoke. In fact, from both sides, that the sanitation problems in Tamale Central have been longstanding and they haven't seen any resolution. What, what do you say to that? As mayor, you're directly responsible for you the see, running you see, Zoom Lion is of doing issues its best. like this. Yes. Zoom Lion is doing its best. Okay. We would have to change our attitude. Attitude not change about sanitation here. It's, a, it's an issue. I've always entered and I've told them, let's give you waste bins. You, you know, put your waste inside. Pay a little token. Then Zoom Lion comes to take it. Have, you, have you provided these waste bins we, or we any? Have, we have brought it here and they were not using it. And other communities were there. So we gave it to other communities. Wait. But you brought the waste bins exactly. into Tamale the market, Central, the market, yes. but they weren't using they were them. Using so you collected so, the waste bins so, so and sent them to another it. constituency. Other communities wanted it, so we gave it to them. But, we are still, but how we are, does that solve are, the problem but, but, here? No, we, are, we are still talking to Zoom Lion to increase the number of people that clean the market, so that they can. Uh, you know, uh, the number of people clean the market are very few. I, I even, uh, last week I was with the CEO of Zoom Lion, and he has given assurance that he will give some uh, authority for them to recruit more staff so that they can clean the market.
Okay, now we know that the issue of Zoom Lion workers, but we've seen it in national news, that they are not being paid. That Zoom Lion owes them arrears. Yes. So the workers are not getting paid. Yes. So how, in the face of this problem, how is that the solution to the sanitation issue here? That Zoom Lion should increase their workers. But these same workers say they are not getting paid. No, no, no. I told you that last week the Zoom Lion man was here. Uh -huh. and I had extensive discussions with him. And yes, I agree that they will pay them any moment from now. And that you increase the staff here. They'll be paying them any moment from, from now. Yes, yes. The Zoom Lion workers in Tamale Central or national? No, no, nationally, nationally, nationally. Okay. And then after they are paid, they will come and start increasing their numbers no, here the, to work? No, no, he said he, uh, we should uh, submit some list through the Zoom Lion regional director here. So they will forward it to Accra for approval. But how is, how, how is, that, how is that your main solution? <laughs> okay, so Honorable Mutala just offered Honorable Sule Salifu a handkerchief to wipe his face because he's sweating. And that should tell you that in the middle of our politics, we still love each other. There is still love, but but back to the matter. Back to the matter. My my, I, I'm not. I'm not very clear that increasing the number of Zoom Lion workers in the market is the solution. Back to the matter. My, my question to you is, the complaints we have received about sanitation since we've been here today is a problem of Tamale Central constituency and not simply a problem of the Tamale Central market. So how is it that your solution to the sanitation problem in the constituency is increasing the number of Zoom Lion workers in the market? How does that solve the sanitation problem? You, you know, you know uh, the, the quantity of waste keep on increasing. So there's a need for us to increase the number of workers here. But what I can say is that the issue of sanitation is not just peculiar to Tamale Central. It's not. It's not peculiar to Tamale Central. It's a, national, it's a nationwide problem, even though I admit that as chief executive, they always lies on me to ensure that the place is clean. And I'm telling that I've engaged the Zoom Lion people and steps have been taken to you know, rectify the situation. Okay. Um, I, I'm not satisfied with your answer yet. But perhaps when we come back, you might have more to say on the issue especially on removing dustbins from the constituency because the people are not using it. One would think that you would rather want to embark on more civic education let, let, let me just tell for you people something. to let, understand let, let the need you something. We got a facility, to use the waste bins rather than facility, taking them to another constituency. That came with a meat van. Meat van. We gave it to the butchers. They rejected it. What would they I do? Rejected they rejected it. You should educate them some more. They have rejected more. it. I've engaged them. They have rejected it. What would I do? You should educate them some they, more. They have refused. They have refused to they put the rubbish in the dustbin. So you take the dustbin yes, away. All right. Let, let, well, let, let, me, let me... First and foremost, I think that my brother has made certain statements which he himself is well aware they are not true. In the first place, he said he gave me a building for the purposes of a clinic. That's not true. In he fact, didn't give you a no, building for the no, clinic. He no, says you didn't give him a no, building for a clinic. No, it wasn't a building. Hold on. You mentioned a clinic earlier that you had offered him a building for a clinic. It's not true. It's not he a building. He says it's, it's not true. true. It's, it's not a building. Let me, can I answer? It's not, it's not can, a I, can I make that statement? Yeah, you see, I wanted to put up clinics after I engaged the Metro Health Education Direct. And Tamale Center, there have been a lot of difficulty in getting places for the purposes of providing health centers. So when I went, the mayor, the former mayor was there, Superior. They constituted a committee and they gave me a building of, listen, and I'm, the reason why I'm saying that it wasn't a building, a dilapidated building of social welfare, which we demolished and put up a clinic. When you say that you gave me a building for the purposes of clinic, if it is not made clear, it will be like as if you gave me a building okay. and I renovated it. So right, thank you that for is, clarifying. And I've made that statement very clearly. And I commended him in the time after I says, look, it was for the good Thank of Tamale. But you see, he needs to apologize to the people of Tamale. Why? When he said that they provided the, 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 dust, the dustbins and the people refused to put their, their rubbish in it. It is not true. When the things get food and they don't convey them, where do you expect them to put the things in? That is not true. He should be holding the Zoom Lion people responsible because they are paid. 
they are paid by the state. And the state gets the money from the taxpayer. So if they fail to do what they are paid to do, and you also fail to ensure that they do what they are supposed to do, you take part of the blame. So don't tell us that the people of Tamale, they brought them and they refused to handle. They refused to put their, their rubbish in it. That's not true. Again, he made another statement, which I feel that is not healthy. He said, Tamale is a very difficult place to handle. Tamale is not a difficult place. In any case, he's seeking to praise himself for the stability and the peace we have in Tamale. Trying to heap himself like the lizard. If they won't praise me, I'll praise myself. The responsibility to ensure that there is peace harmony in Tamale is a collective responsibility. Don't seek to take the credit as you, the mayor. The and in any case, the place, the place he mentioned. The Hold on, it doesn't matter. So it in any case, the place he mentioned chairman is not even in Tamale Council. Central. You are not a member it's of the not in Tamale The place Central. he mentioned that there was conflict is not even in Tamale Central. Wh which it's in Tamale South, you see. Tamale Metropolitan Assembly, you have two constituencies in it, Tamale Central and Tamale South. And I guess the sitting here is to talk about Tamale, Tamale Central. Central. So for him bringing an issue that happened in any other places, where lives were even lost before, the prevention of conflict, you prevent it, you don't wait until lives are lost, and then you come and ensure detente, and you think that we should praise you. Lives right. were lost. Whose responsibility was it to ensure? That the people don't get engaged and even shooting each other, let alone coming to ensure that there is peace. So I'm saying that the peace, the peaceful nature of Tamale Metro is a collective one. And I wouldn't sit here and say that he doesn't have any role to play in it. I won't do that. All of us, including myself and including everybody. But the people we should be commending for the peace of Tamale is not we the political elite. It is the people themselves, the Tish, the chiefs, the traditional authority, the imam, and the people. Without they and their cooperation, there can't be any peace. Regional and metro security, whatever, cannot ensure peace if the people are unwilling to have peace. So I'm saying that. All right. On the issue of sanitation, my brother is saying that, don't worry. By next two weeks, we will start some traffic lights. We are here to talk about things we have executed, not things that are yet to be executed. All and right. in any case, and in any case, all the things, all the things they have done. And you see, for me, it is the level of pettiness that one of the, uh, the, the, the people said that we should look at the pavement blocks. Do you know how much Tamale Metro generates every month? He should tell us how much they generate every month. And let's juxtapose how much Tamale Metro generates a month with the kinds of things they have done. So my, my brother, we are not here to talk about what you intend to do. We are talking about what you have done. I have stated what I have done, not what we intend to do. All right. Right. Now, I, so, I want so, us, so, I want so, us to so, talk. So listen, so listen, listen. Okay. Listen, don't, don't accept, don't accept this explanation. There's a reason why the state, there's a reason why the state has established the Metro Security Councils and the Regional Security Councils. There's a reason. The chiefs were there. The imams were there. The government saw it wise. And it was approved by parliament. They, they, they approved that. The assembly should have metropolitan security councils and the regional security councils. So I'm saying that when there is no security, when there is no peace and order, we are supposed to be held responsible. Like you are holding responsible for the sanitation issue. No. And the kids not there. And the sanitation issue are there. No, but I'm not there. They are there. So I'm saying that if you hold me responsible for sanitation, you should also hold me responsible for security. No, and my security is perfect. When there is peace, you must press me. No. You must press me for doing that. Honorable Sule, listen, right. let me make this point, let All me right. make this point. There have been gunshots and lives lost, gunshots in Tamale under his reign. I don't want to talk about it. There have been gunshots at chief palaces under your reign. But you see, the reason why I don't want to talk about it, because we are here to talk about peace. It was and citizens and police. I'm, oh, hold on, I'm it coming. It was citizens and police. It doesn't still matter. It was it not, it does, was not, hold on. Yes. It doesn't still matter whether citizens and police. If you are seeking to praise yourself because there is peace. And I'm saying that there was, there have been gunshots in Tamale. Let me tell you, the crime rate in Tamale is at, at an alarming rate, and he knows Currently. That. Currently, and he knows. What's that? He knows that there have been a lot of... Can, you, can you speak to specific numbers? Yes, he knows that there have been, oh, killings, armed robbery. It's very common, and he knows. I'm, I'm not saying that the Metro Security Command, they are not doing something. I commend him. But there have been series of crime in incidents. The police are here. Look, drug abuse, substance abuse. He knows the former mayor. And there is a particular committee, and I commend those young people. 
Alaji Gbarbare and his team, I, I really commend them. They have constituted themselves as a committee to ensure that those who bring in such abuse substances are dealt with. There have been series of such incidents. Okay. So when you are seeking to praise yourself for the peace, I'm not saying that you don't have a role to play in it. Let me add, you have as a mayor, of course. But don't seek to heap praises on yourself without the real people who ensure there is peace and stability in Tamale. That's All what right. he's seeking to do. All so right. he's behaving like now, a lizard. I, I, I if they don't praise me, I'll praise myself. All right. Now, I, I want us to talk about... Before I come back but, but, to the but, but, microphone... But you see, he, no, you he had, has admitted you had, that for... He, you had he, enough time to talk. He has not been able to attack a single project I have done. You've had enough That's what time I want to him talk. to talk about. Now, I'm going to come back to the microphones, but I want to ask you one last question, both of you. Can you speak to the issue of land grabbing? land grabbing which has become quite which has become an issue in this constituency and the springing up of mushroom shops that includes the chinatown and I, I want both of you to speak to it okay the issue of land grabbing uh, thank you very much the tamale metro assembly has no power under any law under any law to lease out any land, especially that belongs to the state, to anybody. No chief executive, no minister can give out state land to anybody. If you give out state land, what document will you give them? I want to say on authority that it is a worrisome issue to all of us. And I want to say again that lands that are leased out are done by the Lands Commission. They are done by the Lands Commission. And we have met the Lands Commission people on several occasions to uh, uh, give uh, advice to them. As we speak, Cabinet has given a directive to the Lands Commission to stop leasing out state land to individuals. Government has given out yes, a directive. directive. Cabinet directive. Okay. Yes, it's on my desk. To stop giving out state land. Stop giving out state land. So to land grabbing is not an issue in Tamale. It's an issue, but I'm saying that government has put a stop to it by so, issuing a directive. So it's no longer an no, issue. No, no. It's no longer an no, issue. No, no, no. no. Do, do, is, is that correct? He says well, land grabbing is no longer an issue in Tamale. Well, first and foremost, first and foremost, it's an admission that there is an acceptable level of land grabbing in Tamale, and I can give you evidences. The West Hospital one of the questioners said that my brother has done a lot, go and find out. There are laws governing land acquisition in Ghana. We have what we call the land law. We have the constitution of Ghana. And the law is very clear. Lands are owned by allodial owners. The state can acquire any land through discussions and negotiations with the chiefs if the state has a purpose for the land. The state can also compulsorily acquire a land so if you come to Dagbang, all the lands in Dagbang are under the ownership of his lordship, the Yanna, the king of Dagbang. And therefore the state can request from the Yanna any parcel of land for a purposes of the state or the citizens of, of, of Tamale. Now, if the state acquires a land from the allodial owners or either through compulsory accusation, any time the state doesn't have a use for that land, the first people the state returned the land to is the allodial owners, and in Dagbang, the chiefs. I get what I'm saying. Now, now, if you acquire a land for a purposes of a hospital, the central, the west hospital, and there were structures in there, the structures were meant to house health workers. The hospital is expanding every single day. There, is, there has never been any time that that hospital needs the land than now. But Tamale population is escalating. The number of people who go to the hospital is increasing every day. Strangely, that is the time they are selling lands and buildings belonging to the hospital. Now, to if who? He, he should be answering the question. He now, if he says no, that you're, you're the one let, making let the finish. assertion. Let me finish. To so private, to to private individuals. To, to, to private individuals. To private people. To private people. Government is selling land meant yes, for the yes. hospital. Now, yes. To, to private, private individuals. Individu he knows. I'm saying that. Now, if he says that it is land commission that does that, the reason why you are the mayor, the reason why you are the mayor, and you want to feign consent. No hospital that, Can I sold. finish? Please, please. No I'm saying that the sold. opposite the West Hospital. No hospital has been those sold. structures belong. It's can I finish? The hospital. Can Let I finish? finish? Let him finish. The West Hospital. 
Those buildings there belong to the hospital. That is a fact. That is a fact. And let me give you another fact. The prisons of Tamale. The prisons is in the premises of the Ghana Police Service. The only accommodation the prisons have is across the road, about 800 meters. The prisons wrote to me, officially as their MP, that they were asked to vacate their accommodation. Why? He should be answering it. Ghana Police Service? Ga no, the prisons. Ghana Prison Service? Yes. They've been asked to vacate? Yes, they asked them some time ago. Who wrote to them? The prisons, in fact, I'm saying that the government asked them. Government asked them. Government asked them, and let me answer. Government asked them to vacate. Listen, they wrote to me. They wrote to me. When was this? A year ago. And I'm putting this, you see, you can check on parliamentary hands I met the Minister for Lands, Honorable Abu Jinapo, and he asked me to officially write. I wrote officially to him. I raised the question on the floor of parliament. And he promised me, just like my brother is promising me, that will not happen. The Land Commission in Tamale is headed by a political appointee of this government. And they were asked to vacate there by the Land Commissioner in Tamale. That is government. He represents government. Now, when they asked them to go, I, I had a chat with Abu Jinapo. And he said, I should officially write. I wrote and delivered the letter myself. And within six months, they were sacked from that place and the buildings are demolished. I challenge him and I challenge everybody. From here, let's go and see. And call the prison's office. I'm coming back to wow. another land. Another land. I mentioned the West Hospital. Okay. I, I mentioned okay. the. So I'm saying now, that. Now, this is a, this is a very serious very issue. It is in the parliamentary that hazard. Have, that you have just brought up. Absolutely. So currently, the prison service in Tamale. They are no more. They have demolished the building. They have demolished, they have demolished the building. It's, it's about 20 minutes drive from this place. Let me ask you a question. What reason? Were they given for the demolition? He's the mayor of Tamale. Of those if buildings. he thinks that he's... I'm asking you, did they give you any reason I'm, in their letter I'm to saying you? that they are selling land. Look. They on, have sold the land. They have sold the land. And the land commissioner. To who? The, to private individuals. The, let me finish. The land commissioner in Tamale. The land commissioner in Tamale. He is the mayor for Tamale. Now he's not failing in those and He says that he's not aware. It is the land commission that sells land. Let's agree. Now if the land commission sells land. If the land commission sells land. That belongs to state institutions, very critical state institutions. I have had discussions with him. What has he done to stop that? Uh, so, so Madam, Salifu, Madam, first of all, is no, this no, wait, true? Wait, wait. Let me say that the lands are not just sold anyhow. If you interact with the lands commission from here, go there and interview them. Have the prisons building been demolished and sold to a private listen to me. individual? Listen to, me. listen to me. No, answer the question. Listen to me. I'm listening you to you, listen. but you have to answer go the question. Go to the lands commission and find out from them. Let me tell you something. The lands have not been sold and buildings demolished. What the prisons have not been demolished. Listen, if you go to the regional coordinating council, they have given low, the low cost houses to investors. Eh? And they have gone to replicate the buildings at the regional coordinating council. Okay. From here, go to the regional coordinating council, the entrance. You will see story buildings springing up. Some have even been completed. Go to Gilbert. For the behind Gilbert. Service. Because, uh, yes, go to Gilbert. Behind Gilbert, you will see four new story buildings okay. that have been put up by my wombs as the contractor's name. For the oh. prison service. Oh. Yes. Okay. It's there. Okay. So they it's were there. relocated. Relocation. You okay. can go and check and find out. You can go and find out. The buildings are completed and people are living in them. Okay. So have they currently moved in? Yeah. Have they moved in? Yes, yeah, some have moved in. Others are still moving in. Okay. And some, so, some, some are still under construction. Okay. So what he is saying see, is that... You see, you see. Let, the, the, let, let's just get clarity so that we don't leave here with any confusion. Margin, so margin. Let's get clarity margin. so that we don't leave here with any confusion. No. What he is saying uh -huh. is that the, the buildings for the prison service were demolished and the land sold to private individuals. Is that true? That one, I cannot confirm that. As far as I'm aware... As far I'm not as I'm, aware. Uh, yes, I'm not aware. Okay. I am not aware. As okay. far as I'm concerned, these buildings are being replicated elsewhere for such institutions. But he says so, he spoke so. to you about it. Who? He uh, says he spoke to you about, about it. it. Spoke about, I, but you said you I, are I not aware. You, I, no, I told you that. I engaged the last commission man and he showed me evidence of relocation. All and right. I'm saying that when you go hold to the hospital, you see please. the prison situation there. Please, you All see, right. this is the uh, most uh, ridiculous, this is the most ridiculous answer I've ever heard. My brother is a very intelligent person and I can understand why. There is a reason why the accommodation of the prison's officers is closer to the prisons. 
And for all this while, there have been concerns of the sales of land. This is the first time my brother is giving us this explanation. In any case, he says that the last commissioner man told him that they have replicated the buildings. It is not the responsibility of land commission to put up structures. No, 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 they are no, 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 hold on. Their responsibility so. ends at land. So. Their responsibility ends at land. As a matter of fact, the minister for land himself, the minister, the one who appointed the land commissioner boss himself, told me it was unacceptable. Apart from writing to him, I filed a question on the floor of parliament. You remember? That was the day I said they sell state lands like they are sharing granules. Your TV station carried it. So I can understand the attempt to avoid the question. If he says that, look, I am powerless, the authorization comes from the top. I can understand. All right. It is not the responsibility of Lands Commission All right. to determine which building they put up. This I'm, is I'm the most ridiculous and answer and come back I have to the ever people. Had. If you could just speak to the last question he asked. What, what is the proximity between the prison and, the, and the buildings that have been replicated for the prison services? About 100, 100 kilometers. Uh, how many? About 100 kilometers. How many? 100 Which one? kilometers. From the prison to the uh, building. To no, 100 a, a, a kilometers. 100 kilometers uh, yes. is quite a yes, stretch. Yes, yes. So, can you tell us why it was necessary? Uh? Can you tell us why it was necessary uh, uh, in fact, for the building I mean, to be replicated in fact, somewhere In fact, else? the buildings were very, in a very dilapidated place. They were very, dilapidated? Yes, who says who? Very, says who? So why were they not renovated? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Why were uh, they yes, not sir. renovated? Uh? Why were they not renovated? Why no, was it replicated so, 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 100 so, so, kilometers so, so, away? That's why they took it. So if the, if the assembly doesn't have money at the moment to do it, and there's an investor, who can replicate it elsewhere? Who and who, take this? Place? Who authorized? Who, who yeah, authorized investor that investment? Can, who? The investor can renovate, can't he? No, no, no. Who will do that? He can't renovate. Who will do that? Who right. authorized let, that let investment? Who do that? Let me come to you. Um, back to the microphone. But we'll take three, three comments from here and three comments from there. He is not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. We are here. Yes, go you are not go going. You are not going anywhere. Tamale Central constituency. Um, the conversations are ongoing about issues affecting people in this constituency. We've spoken about one key issue, actually, which caught my attention, is the issue of the relocation of the police service here in Tamale Central from their location close to the prisons to another location which is about 100 kilometers away. Um, the, the mayor says that it is because the building was in a very dilapidated state. And so they got an investor who was willing to replicate the same building elsewhere. Now, the Honorable uh, Member of Parliament is also saying that there's really no point because there's a reason the building for the police service is close to the, pr the, the prison service, it's close to the prison itself. And according to him, the land which initially housed the prison service has been sold to a private individual and the buildings relocated to a place which is so far away from the prison itself. Now, this is something that we would like to look into further, but we're going to come back to the microphone and speak to the young people in the constituency. Yes, my lady, what's your name? Good morning, Good ladies morning. and gentlemen. My name is Abdel Ghani Ufateya Sohini, but I'm coming to talk about my language. Yamali, Dunkupjani. Free senior high. Then that way is our A B C. Kabi ene then sub nine. Ne then chala free senior high. Free senior high ma. Tu bingya rishali. Tu bingya free. Please, my name is 
a beggar you for there. Let's ask the question. Please, you say that if we write BC, we, we will see a free senior high. But the free senior high, we didn't see it anymore. We didn't get free uh, good food to eat, good drink. We didn't get anything. We didn't Which school get did you go the, to? The Which free school did you go to? Which school? BC Senior High School. And you're saying that when you go to school, they don't give you food? We didn't get good food. Good food to eat. You got food, but it wasn't good. Good food. Okay. No textbooks. No uniforms. You say that no if uniforms, you got... no textbooks. Yes, they say that if we go to free senior high, we we'll get uniforms. But no uniforms. So how no did you textbooks. get your uniform? I saw it. You paid for your own uniform? Yes. What about your textbooks? The textbooks. They give us five. Only five. Instead of how many? My mother bought all the other ones. How many did you buy? How many? Only. I you don't know 15. how many. Fifteen. Fifteen. No, okay. Eight. Now, is it? We are not Is it one. everyone in your school or some of you? Eh? Was it everyone in your school or some of you? Everyone. Everyone. Yes. And your, the name of your school is? Eh? The name of your school, Bisco. Bisco. Bisco Senior High School. Yes. Okay. Let somebody else talk. We don't have good. All right. Let somebody else talk. All right, go ahead, go ahead, madam. Please, according to the looting of the lands, I've been in the West Hospital here, past there, for nine good years. Lands we knew which was going to be built for nurses and doctors have been sold for individuals. I'm a nurse, we don't have accommodation to sleep there. Are you a nurse? Yes, you can go there right now and find out. The plot, the plot, they were to use to build for doctors for accommodation. We don't have accommodation. How long has this been going on? Two years now. Two years. Go there right now. All the plots have been sold for private individuals. The do, you know, do you know which private individuals have bought the land? It says private. You, you don't new know. patriotic practice individuals. Okay. They put stores. Stores? Yes. Shops. Shops. Which are made to be built for nurses and doctors. Our doctors are staying far away. It takes them more than one hour, two hours to come to attend to emergency cases. I am a witness from here. Go there and find out for yourself. All right. And the name of the hospital? Look, West, West Hospital. You see? West hospital. You see? The mayor, the mayor, the mayor okay. can decide that he's no, not wait. in for agree. Let, let her but they have been selling Are you done? Yes. Okay. And our central markets, our mothers, our mothers have been in the central markets for more than 30 years. They built new stores and they sold them to evils, foreigners, and our mothers don't have any place to sit themselves. All right, last last person last here, and then we'll come here, please. Last person, yes, sir. Go ahead. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Um, my name is Sally Fusabik Bawa. I am a branch youth organizer at the Bia Garbia in Alistair. Okay. Um, I have a simple question for our mayor. Now, I I I believe you drove right from um, Ababu Market, the traffic, and came inside here. You can see how the road is choked. What is the MC doing about it? Because his predecessor, we've seen what he has done before. What has he done about the road, the choking of the road? Choked with what? City congestion, car parks anywhere, anywhere. This is our Aboboya. They park anywhere. They can easily kill anyone. And every day you can road access. What is our mayor doing? And secondly, now, now I believe you, you slept in Tamale here. Street lights, street lighting. It's an issue in Tamale. Street lighting is an issue in Tamale. Everything is dark. They know it. Everything knows it. What is it doing about that? And my last question is that: Is the uh, council? Is the council for council? Tamale council. Is it meant for only party boys or is it meant for Tamale? Where party food soldiers are giving tickets to be lottery and disturbing market women in our markets? All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Um, all right, people, people, please calm down and let's speak into the microphone. All right, you have, you have three, um, three people can speak from here. And please, again, let's limit our issues to issues in this constituency. Hello, good morning to everyone. And thanks for TV3 for this opportunity. I want to urge or remind my fuller MPP distance, uh, the NDC, they should Stop talking about selling government properties or selling government lands. 
it, it started on Atami's regime. I want to ask Honorable Mutala, who do, who did you hear? When did he buy Twaje Hotel? Is it MPP regime? It 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 is it is government property. Who do you hear? He's the owner of Twaje land. Twaje. I want to I want you to answer that question. It's not the MPP regime that he bought the land. I want Honorable Mutala to answer me this question. Who did you hear? When did he buy Twaje Hotel? Is it the MPP government? And it's also government property, government land. That's one. Even the, the house that you are in, that Narip, the land refers to government property, but you buy, you buy it and build a house there. We know You're everything that, about you. you say he's He's built his house take on take government take land. Here. Yeah. And please, I would, I, would, I, would like, I would like to blend it to Dagbali English and Dagbali, please. Go ahead. OK. So you want to be mad to Mamba, be here to 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 be here Calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down. Hello? Yes, sir, go ahead. Hello? Uh, good morning. Good morning. My name is Idris Abdelahak, uh, youth organizer NPP for Tamale Central. Actually, uh, I would like to ask some few questions on what uh, our honorable member said, the outgoing member, uh, Honorable Mutala. Uh, he said, with the number of boreholes, he mentioned that he has been able to construct in the constituency. When you sum that up, it sums up to 86. And I want to ask him a question. If that number of boreholes are, uh, are made in this constituency, at least by my calculation, each electoral area should have about four boreholes. So I want him to tell me. I want him to tell me. Each and every one of us should pick our calculator and divide 86 by 18. You get four plus something. So each electoral area should have over four boreholes, at least. So I want you to mention Abu Abu, which is where I'm coming from my area. How many boreholes you put up in Ababu? And mention an area that can sum up, an area that can give us many boreholes so we can make calculation to add up to the number 86. And the last one too, the last one, the last one I want to say is, you see, that NDC boy who just spoke right now, he is a yellow, yellow driver. And that yellow, yellow driver, his name is Sabit. He is a yellow, yellow driver. They are those who occupy the, the streets that we can't walk. When you try to stop them or take them off the streets, they tell you that they are not moving because they are doing their business. And they, they are putting all the blame on government, which will not be so. My last question to Honorable Mutala, my last question to Honorable Mutala is, I want you to, whenever you are speaking on, uh, on issues or projects that has to do with the government, please be specific. Don't own the projects. Make sure you make the people understand that the roads at Changli are for the government of Ghana. The atlatev at Changli is for the government of Ghana. Thank you very much. All right. How many people have spoken from here too? So she'll be the third person. No, no, no. It was two here. It was three. It was three. Please speak. 
now, good morning, good morning to please. Go ahead, go ahead. Good morning to everybody. I greet my incoming MP for Tamale Central. And I greet my outgoing MP for Tamale Central. Good morning to everybody. Please, my question is, our, 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 our mayor said he has so many interventions for Tamale Central. And he made mention of organizing a classes for those going for JSS students. Yes. I want him, please, please. I want him to give us an evidence of those that he has been able to uh, take through the school. Take through the, the... Please, 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 please. For all you know, for all you know, for all you know, those interventions he's making, he's talking about, has been given to his supporters. That is the MPP supporters. And the other thing I want to talk about is, I am very disappointed. I mean, I am very disappointed in our MP for saying, we are here to talk about things that we have done already. No! Mayor is now contesting for the MPC. Our mayor is now contesting for the MPC. He is not an MP yet. So, so, please, 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 please. Our mayor is now contesting for the seat for Tamale Central. He is not an MP yet. And he has been able to do a lot of things for us, which he has counted here. If you say you are the MP, please don't say we are talking about issues okay. that have already been done. Talk about issues right. that we will bring. Okay. He's bringing on board. Right. He's bringing right. on board. Please listen to me. I, I he is see bringing on the on screen um, BEC examination, um, some masters, and so on. Is that the evidence? Is that the evidence? That's the evidence. Okay. All right. So we see it on the screen over there, some textbooks, smart sets, and so on, which the Tamale Central MP has provided to the who are going to write their BEC. And we're showing this because the lady asked for evidence. And I think that sits on the screen there. All right, thank you so much. Is that, is that it? On board, please. Thank you. All right, let me come to let me come to both of you. Let me come to both no, of you. I need to ask. You, you have to go. So would you like to speak first, or should I speak first? All right, go ahead. Well, uh, hello, 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 hello. So, hello. I, you know, I, interestingly, interestingly, I know this lady. She's from Banjong Yili. One of my classes is just by her house. As a matter of fact. The young boys and young girls in his house, in her house, are beneficiaries of the classes. In fact, two of her brothers, Idi and Abraman, I support her to pay their fees. She, so I'm surprised, so I'm surprised that she, of all people, she's asking this question. But I'm saying that what you have shown is very clear. She's my sister. I think that this short embarrassment should be enough. The classes I have, I have them in five centers. One is at Zogbeli. One is at Kulkul School. One is at Sagasaka, one is at St. Peter's, one is at Gombeni in Tutuari, and I can tell you, before we started the classes, average pass mark for the BCE in Tamale Metro was 32.2%, and I got this information from the then Metro Education Director. When we did the classes the first year, we did it for six months. When they wrote and the results came, I went to him again. I'm a research student. He brought the data and it jumped from 32.2% to 60.9%. The following year, it jumped to 62%. And I can tell you, I don't do the classes with common fund. I pay the I teachers, I pay the teachers, I give the students massage, and I also give them TNT. And I've been doing it for four years and running. Her house, children in her house are beneficiaries of the class. So I'm saying that All for right. the classes, it is very clear. Okay. My brother is aware. I invited him to attend one of the classes. And it's a fact. But you see? Oh, <laughs> but you see? Someone asked whether I can give evidence of the number of boreholes. And in my response, I said, the boreholes have been done by my common fund. He supervised the award of the contract. And he pays the money to the contractor. We did five, and we have 18 wards, but some are bigger. 
And what we were to do, we did 20. Each word, we did one, 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 and we added two. So did making you, it 25. Did you distribute the ball I'm coming, yes. all the constituents? That's what I'm saying. That the all word. the electoral areas. Yes. So that's what I'm saying that we did five. Then we did one, 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 20 plus five. That gives you 25. And we went around and did another one, one. That gives you what? 45. Then we did another 10. That gives you 55. Then we, I'm coming. We did five. As I talk to you, maybe the gentleman is not aware of Tamale Central. Community Health Nursing Training College is part of Tamale Central. I did three for them. He Th mentioned a particular I'm coming. I, I, area. No, a, 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 where he's coming a, a, from. Where he's coming from. Yeah. His house. Agursa. There is a borehole. You know his house. I said, but yes, here. By his house, there is a borehole. By his house, Agursa. There is a borehole. So it's strange that they embarrass themselves in this manner. His house is just here. There is a borehole by his house. So, I mean, I think that it is so embarrassing that he will come and ask that question. Mayor knows, mayor knows that his house is here. His house is about, by, just by Agursa. There is a borehole by his house. Yet he comes here and pretends there isn't. It's embarrassing. Tell your people not to be subjecting themselves to such embarrassment. The kind of work I have done in Tamil Central is not the Dr. Baumier's work. When you ask, he says, open a book. My work is there for everybody to see. But you see, when, you, when I sat here, you realize I haven't even spoken about what President Mahama has done. Someone asked a question about pavement. This market was built by NDC. This market. Now you have come and you are doing pavement. And you think we should praise you. You are talking of an overpass. And you say interchange. The Eastern Corridor, I'm told they are taking credit for it. The Tamale Airport, tell me, between a building and a runway, which one constitutes an airport? Without the runway, certain aeroplanes cannot land. But you can have a structure and you have a runway that will accommodate certain airlines. NDC has built an airport, yet they want to claim credit. So I'm saying that it is very clear what we have done stand tall, and my brother will test to that fact. I have never gone to the assembly to ask them to give me a common but he knows. Every project I want to do, he approves them. And I, I will commend him because I've never had any problem with him in terms of approving my common fund for the purposes of projects. I will commend him and I will commend him all the time. Now, I don't know why this question keeps on coming. That I have done Changli Roads, I have done Dohana Yulu Road, and I have done an AstroTef. When we were, when we were cutting salt for the AstroTef, Ghana Gas was there. He was there. When we were commissioning it, Ghana Gas was there. He was there. And I said, I got it from Ghana Gas. When we were constructing the roads, when we are cutting the salt, I announced publicly on TV that I got it from government of Ghana through the Ministry of Road. I'm a member of parliament and I can lobby for projects. Or the medical science students, and I can tell you, we have done something that has never happened anywhere. I have currently 32 medical science students. I pay their fees 100%. I don't pay it from Kobo Is that your personal investment? You're personally paying for this? Yes, I pay. From your personal Not funds? from Kobo Mahino, yes. I pay, look, I have an account, I but have. That's also an issue because when members of parliament use their personal funds to undertake some of these projects, then it begs the question, where is the money coming from? I'll tell from? you where it is coming from. I'll tell you, let me answer you. Okay, go on. I'm a huge farmer. And you're, everybody, you're a yes, farmer. I farm. Everybody knows. Okay. And I can tell you, it, I'm a development planner by profession. It needs strategic thinking and vision. What I have done, I have a special accounts for the purposes of the medical science students. I started from with 10. Yes, yeah, from my farm. But is this a sustainable solution to the 100%, problem? 100% of my farm produce. I don't even pay, buy a book for my children. I use it for such facilities. And you know, I have done this before. When I was the MP for Nantong, I took a land that I bought before I became the MP. The airport road, one and a half acre, 5,000 blocks on it. And I sold it to provide free microfinance, non-profit microfinance for the people of Nantong constituency. I have a vision. And that is what I do. Where? All right. Where All is right. The, the evidence. Oh, All the right. evidence. Yes. Hold on, hold no, on, hold on. No, hold on. No, he wants, no, he wants no, the evidence. No. I, I will no, provide evidence. Madam, he it's wants, not my time. He, it's not my time. Okay. Madam, can I, I want to say something. Okay. No, okay. I'm not no, providing no, no, evidence. Okay. Madam, while, while you are I want pulling to say something. No, you are pulling the evidence. Allow him to talk. Madam, you are pulling the evidence. On the land issue. On the land issue. Yes. On the land issue. The one the nurse spoke about. No, the one the nurse spoke about. The land the nest spoke about. Go ahead. On the issue of the lands. Yes. In Tamale, there's a yard. Yard. Yard called Mera Yardi. Mera Yardi. Alaji Mera was former regional chairman of the NDC. He bought the state land there. 
Meda Yari is there. Who bought the land? Alaji Meda. They, no they call it they call it Meda so Yari. Why they call it Meda Yari? If there was a, if it's a state why? land. If it's a state land, why should they call it Meda Yari? Now let me tell you something. If you take and go straight to run around about, turn left. There's a filling station there. There was a complex there called Gihok. Gihok was a state institution. It's not a filling station. Who sold it? Is it the MPP that sold it? Is it the MPP that sold it? Well, well, well. So you cannot blame MPP so, government for the sale of government lands to private individuals. You cannot do that. Okay, so, Let me so, ask you a now, specific and question. Now, and now, the lady spoke about a specific land at the West Hospital. Yes. She says the West Hospital lands were supposed to house doctors and nurses. The lands have been sold. As far as I'm concerned, and that land is not hospital land. Private people. As far as I'm concerned, that land is not for hospital land. Who, who owns those lands? It's state land. It's a state land. Not for the hospital. Well, state so land. if they are state lands, why have they been sold to private people to build shops? Yes, if, if, the, if, the, if the state wants them to develop their place, they'll lease it out. But, but is it a state there, is a need, the there is a need by the hospital yes. for accommodation to be erected for the doctors and the nurses. I'm saying. So, so when you say that if state wants to build shops, then they'll build shops. No, then, then it's a problem, isn't it? What I'm saying is that that place, there were some dilapidated buildings there. You understand the point? And the state lease it out to a private no, no. Let go me there ask and you a see, question. Go and see Was the there a that need there? for doctors and nurses to be given accommodation near the hospital or not? Was there one? Was there a need as far as for I'm concerned, doctors and nurses to be given I'm accommodation concerned, or not? As far as I'm concerned, Jale, nobody complained about accommodation for doctors and nurses. So let me tell you something. Do they have accommodation? The Tamale Teaching Hospital, do the, they CEO, have accommodation? the CEO of the Tamale Teaching Hospital wrote officially to me. And when I went to Germany, I got a private investor who is coming to put up a thousand housing units for the TTH. I'm asking you a question. Thousand housing units. Do the doctors and nurses at the West Hospital have accommodation or not? They have not complained to me. So, so you don't know have. if they have I accommodation. I would say they have because they have not complained to me. But, Let but me tell a lady something. here has just complained I, to I, you. I, I, I am look. I sit here. I sit here as parliamentary candidate for Thomas Central and the MCE. Oh. If they have problems, they have to officially write to me. They have wow. to listen to me. Wow. And you are not so aware. As far as concerned, they have. So as far as you are concerned, and they have because they have no complaint to me. This woman and the other doctors and nurses she's she speaking on behalf of. of is she the administrator of the hospital? But she's a nurse at saying, the hospital. I am saying that when they have problems, the administrator write officially to me. Okay, so and until, they have not done that. So, so until then, you are not aware they, of the problem. They have not done that. Okay. So they have. Okay. So until then, you are not aware of the problem. What? So now they have just told you that there's a no, problem. No, I have to verify that. Oh. I have to verify. She's here on a political mission. I uh, uh, have not I have to I have to find out. She is a nurse at the hospital. But now, so if she works in the hospital, can she speak for the hospital? No, she's speaking. No, I'm just telling you. If I'm, this lady, I'm asking if this you a lady question. Come to tell you that the hospital says she should tell you this. Will you believe it? I am saying the well, hospital is done by administrators. They should write to me. Master, okay. take your time. So, better. so until then you are not aware. Okay. Now, now, do you want to speak? Do you want to speak to any of the other issues they spoke about? The young lady spoke about textbooks and uniforms for um, look, look, Bisco, Madam, Bisco Senior Madam, High School. Madam, sit well, sit well. I want. We all have kids. We all have kids. My children are going to secondary school, and they are not going to private schools. They are in government secondary schools. In Tamale. In Tamale here, yeah. and I don't buy those things for them. I believe many people are here. They don't buy anything for their children. Free senior high school is absolutely free. It's so, free. Well, but this is not the first time we are hearing about such complaints. Now, I told them that they should limit their complaints to constituency yes. issues. I know Madam, that free senior Madam high school is a national issue. But because she spoke about a Bisco senior yeah. high school, My children, in Tamale, I feel like it's important to talk about it. Hey, hey, Jamie. You see, you see, his boy, his youth organizer. That's his youth organizer. That's his, that's his constancy youth organizer. That is the MPP constancy youth organizer.